Hello, I'm reviewing, Jake is reviewing a movie this time, called, I'll be honest, I kind of got confused in my head of title. It's one of the Fox X-Men movies. Related. So, I, I remember what's going on. I can't remember what Wolverine movie I was going to review, so I had to review all three of them, okay? In this video. Wolverine's Origins, and the Wolverine, and to Logan. I had to review all three of them. Because I can't remember which one I picked out of those three. So I'll just talk about all three of them in this video. Okay. X-Men Origins Wolverine is a solid 8 out of 10 of a score. Final score of a movie. It's just that good of a watchable movie. I'm not a big fan of the movie. I think it has as much replay value as Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. Personally, the Logan, first Logan Wolverine movie, titled as X-Men Origins Wolverine. In the Logan trilogy. Uh, and next is... I give... This movie called Logan gets a solid 10 out of 10 because it's rated R and when it gets to the violence it delivers on this mature content violence that you want to see from a Wolverine, uh, Wolverine do and commit this act of violence. In an R-rated fashion. And delivers on your wildest streams of the R-rated fashion that you could ever really wanted in live action for Wolverine live action, finally. Because it goes all out with the R-rated violence. I love it because of that. Despite being a good story, you know, it's also really good glory fun. Of a flick. Making it one of my favorite Wolgan movies. Next to The Wolverine. I'm not sure which I like more. The Wolverine or Logan. It's tough to be honest with you. Although I will say. The only downside to Logan. Is I feel like Laurel. Once Laurel's brought in. Who is revealed to be Logan's daughter. I feel like she's brought in. Way too often to upstage Wolverine. And the mature violence. I feel like she upstages Wolverine way too often enough as it is. And then uh Lo and then it's like teasing it basically spelling out to us the audience that Logan Logan her his Logan his daughter has the potential to be even more dangerous, even more badass than Logan was in his prime. And better than him. So, but she hasn't got down to that stage yet in life, so she's, because I guess she's, uh, was because she has still lacking training, and fighting this, but she's, she's pretty vast, but she doesn't really say anything for that, the movie, when she does say something, it's in a completely un, a uh, complete, uh, un, translate, uh, un, uh, translatable different language that's probably made up, I don't know. I don't know what language it is. I don't know if it's made up film language or it's a different language because, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, tran there's no subtitles of what she's saying. So I want, but then I wonder, wait, is this because Logan, and then I thought, okay, this is, wait, then I thought, it's brilliant. The reason why I think it's brilliant is because we are the audience are like listening to what Laurel is saying from her point of view. And, uh, 
Logan can't understand Laura, so maybe that's why we can't understand one why there's no subtitles. I guess that's why it's brilliant. Still, I thought Laurel would have been better if they didn't use her or brought her, ever brought her into the film. I think it would have been a better film if Laurel wasn't in the film, personally. And I thought she was kind of a bit of a the Achilles heel of the film for me. You know, it's, it's like, it feels like, uh, it just feels like the creators wanted Laurel to be in there, not just to uh, patch the torch to Logan. Uh, have the sub, uh, you know, it's just, it feels like, you know, it just feels like, uh, it just feels like one of those things, and I don't mind it, but, uh, I would have liked if this would cater more to the fans and give us more of what we wanted from Old Man Logan and just be, have Old Man Logan fighting while it's out, Laura, and, and maybe it would have been a, uh, Maybe it would have been as, maybe it would have been as nice as, I don't know what that would have looked like, but it would have been, I would have liked that. Maybe it would have soaked it, uh, maybe it would have made as much money, but, uh, I don't know, you know I can, I just like, I don't know. Why well, didn't then go that way for the fans, uh, way of what the, give what the fans wanted from Logan. I mean, it was cool what the what we got. It's nice to get a little taste of it, but I like this movie anyway, so I still give it a ten out of ten. Logan from twenty seventeen, and now I review the last movie, The Wolverine. I don't know what the name of the trilogy is going to be called in this video. I'm going to just look. I don't know what the, uh, I don't, uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, uh, the Wolverine, uh, what was everything? The Wolverine from 2013, I believe, came out. And starring Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Personally, I think this is my favorite Wolverine movie. Story-wise, I think. A narrow structure. I think the best Wolverine movie is called is The Wolverine, not Logan, but The Wolverine. Yeah, it's definitely not X Men Origins Wolverine. God, no, I wouldn't even put that as a Wolverine movie on the list. So. <laughs> that doesn't even come close to to the first to the first two I listed. X Men Origins Wolverine. Okay. I just gave that an 8 out of 10 because I'm not crazy about it, but I don't hate it, okay? The Wolverine and Logan, on the other hand, I love those movies. I give them both solid 10 out of 10. Okay. That's my review on X-Men Presents Fox X-Men Run in the... That's my review on the X U Jackman's Trilogy of Wolverine. Okay. Thank you. Watch all three of them if you wanted to, including Origins. I don't recommend Origins, but I can't stop you, I guess. But I do recommend Logan and Wolverine. The one that's called, just called The Wolverine from 2013 to two, or 20. 14th from. I can't remember the years exactly on point. Uh, but the Wolverine and Logan, I'm crazy about. I love those movies. 10 out of 10. Recommend those movies. Okay, audience? Okay. Give this video a thumbs up. Ow! I popped my thumb. It really hurt. The joint. Yeah, expect that to hurt. Subscribe.
give this video a thumbs up, subscribe by hitting the bell, and then hit the subscribe button. Second. Goodbye.